I recently posted a video on how you can make an animated habit tracker using Google Sheet like this. But a few of my subscribers were requesting if I can do the same thing in Microsoft Excel. So I just have to try it. And this is how you can do it. The first thing you have to do is to add a checkbox here. Go to developer. If you don't have a develop tab, right click on the ribbon, customize the ribbon. And in here, make sure that your developer is checked and click OK. Once that's done, you go to control, insert form control. You're going to put a checkbox here, right about here. Just position it nicely. Right click, text edit, and press delete a few times to get rid of the text. Then right click again, go to format control. And then in here, you're going to link this to this cell here, B2, and click OK after that. Once that's done, you're going to repeat the same thing for the rest of the task. After that, we're going to place a check on every check boxes and change the font color of the cell to white. Next, we'll enter the formulas. The first formula here is this. And the second formula is this. And the third formula is this. And the loader index formula is this. Just note that your loader index boundary might be different than mine. Next, we'll build a repository of image. Start a brand new sheet. In here, you're gonna type one, two, three, four, five, which is actually an image loader here, and change the size of this height that much. And click on B1 here, and you go insert, illustration, picture, this device. And I'm gonna load these five pictures here to indicate growth, starting with the very first one, and then resize it. I'll use the same steps to add the remaining four pictures. Next, select any image, Control c to copy in a clipboard, go to your main sheet here, adjust the height of row 23 and Control v on B23 here to paste the picture. So we're going to assign a name for this, you're going to go formula and you're going to define names and define name. Let's give it a name called grow or something and over here, you're going to start typing a new formula called xlookup. If you are using an older version of Excel, you can use index as shown on the screen here and then the first argument would be the load index and then the second argument will be the image of the index number itself and the third argument would be the picture itself and you close parenthesis here and click on OK. Now you're going to click on this picture here and you say equal grow like this and hit enter. Now every time you make changes to your checkbox your plant will change sizes accordingly.